Women, please, please, please listen to She-Ra 7 and older women. We are all waking up to the games that men play on us. We're waking up in massive numbers right now, whether you're married or dating. If you listen to older women and She-Ra 7, we will tell you the truth. We will tell you what's really going on so that you're not delusional, so you, that you don't get taken advantage of. And so that if anything does happen, you're not left in a worse position than you started. By now, I just want to assume everybody knows Sprinkle Sprinkle, the Sprinkle Sprinkle lady, Shara Seven. If you don't know her by now, you need to go on your search bar and look for her, Shara Seven, the Sprinkle Sprinkle lady. She gives a lot of financial advice when it comes to dating men. And then listening to older men, older women as well, pr probably I would just say Priscilla the Queen Maker. She's also a very good person that, you know, explain a lot of things about relationship and make you to have an open eye when it comes to dating men. So then as an older person watching this video, would you advise a younger person to binge content from Shara Seven or Priscilla the Queen Maker? Let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. Let me go ahead and roll this clip for you all to watch to the end and I'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video. Women, please, please, please listen to She-Ra 7 and older women. We are all waking up to the games that men play on us. We're waking up in massive numbers right now, whether you're married or dating. If you listen to older women and She-Ra 7, we will tell you the truth. We will tell you what's really going on so that you're not delusional, so that you don't get taken advantage of. And so that if anything does happen, you're not left in a worse position than you started. You have to realize something that men are programmed to want access to a woman's body and that's mostly what they're after. Sure. This game of love that we're calling love between men and women is just romance. Mm -hmm. It's just desire. It's just bexual. Now we've misconstrued it with love, with fairy tale, with Cinderella, with holding my hand, with the end all be all, the greatest accomplishment ever. No. It's just bexual attraction. It's just bexual desire. So please don't throw your whole life away for nonsense fairy tales when it's just a, an activity that men want to do with you. And men want to do that and they'll waste a lot of your time to make sure that they get that because they get a lot of enjoyment out of it. And oddly enough, we don't most of the time. So make sure that they're investing in you, literally putting cash in your hands, literally paying your bills before you ever sleep with them because guess what? If they leave, if they were lying, then you didn't get the raw end of the deal. And make sure you wait a while to do that sure. because you need to make sure that they're telling the okay. truth. You need to make sure that their actions align with what they're saying. You need to get to know somebody and you need to make sure that they're serious about you because if something happens and you get pregnant, you're screwed. Especially with a man who can't even provide for himself. You need to make sure that he can provide for himself and for you. Now that doesn't mean that you should rely on a man for money ever, ever. That's what our mothers had to do because they weren't allowed to get bank accounts, but not anymore. We're playing the game smarter. We have our own money. We have our own businesses. And then we have men for fun on the side that have invested in us that are not game players. Now there are good men who hear this message and they, they understand, they get it. That smart women like me, we're not playing with little boys. We're not playing with boys who can't pay their bills. And we're not playing around with little boys who don't seriously invest in us. And investing means taking action. Yeah. And it's not hard for real men to pay some bills. These men are making 200 grand plus. They have enough money to pay your bills and theirs. And if they don't find another one, they should be worried about making money, yeah. not trying to get laid. And if you can't find one, or there's too many of them screwing you around, guess what? Work on your money. Your time is better spent working on your money than holding some broke man's hand. That's a waste of time. That's a waste of an afternoon. That's a waste mm -hmm. of time. You wanna go flirt and have fun? Go out to the clubs, go out to the bar, flirt and have fun, bye bye. But don't be texting every day, don't be calling every day, don't be going on dates. They will waste your life. And then on top of it, try to get you to marry them so that you can be their housekeeper, their cook. Talk about a scam. Please listen to Shira 7 and older women like me. It's a little bit complicated.
the games that they've ran on us. And you need to see clearly, you need to readjust your neurons and your synapses so that you can stop seeing the delusions. Some of us had to learn the hard way and we don't want you to have to do that as well. Hey, beautiful people, how are you doing today? It's your Mara David and I'm back again with another interesting video. We are talking about listening to Shara Seven, the Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady, and all that older women that speak facts. Of course, you and I know that this is not all older women that speak facts. The other day, I posted a video about older women in Africa telling you that they will not divorce their husband even if he sleeps with their daughter. And a lot of them were down in the comment section like yeah that's what i'm going to do blah, blah blah like there are a lot of older women that just make you look as if you have to suffer to enjoy a relationship there are older women like that that's not the kind of older women we're talking about we're talking about the ones that you know tells you the real truth about dating men and one of them is shara seven and maybe priscilla the queen maker for me shara, i have and i have just one stitch on this video i'm going to play this stitch for you all to watch then i'll share my opinion at the end of the stage but then i'd like to know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section do you think that younger women should listen to shara seven or priscilla the queen maker which one which one is your own this is not like taking side here but this is just like somebody you feel like younger women should really binge watch their content let me know your thoughts down in the comment section so that if anything does happen you're not left in a worse position than you started. Big sis here, and this is a lot of what I talk about in my videos. Women, you need to be benefiting in some capacity. Even if you are not in your ideal situation, you still need to be benefiting in some way. He needs to be making your life easier. Things need to be going really good for you. He's adding to your life, not taking away from it. And if that is not happening, you do not need to waste more time in that situation yeah. with him this is not to bash men or talk negatively about men i'm in a relationship myself that's not what this is about this is about women realizing your worth it's realizing men's body and brains are wired differently than women's women more than not will be more ready for a commitment relationship and marriage if you think about us being selective in terms of giving birth uh, things of that nature like we can only when we get pregnant that's it right Men, they have penises. They can get one woman pregnant and another woman pregnant right. at the same time. With them and their bodies, they want to sling it around mm -hmm. left and right. The last thing, that this is the opposite, the last thing that's on their mind is commitment and marriage. You have to require that in order to get it. And a lot of women are just waiting around, letting them decide if they want to make that decision. They're not requiring it, and that's why you don't get it. You, you don't get the things that you don't stand business on sure. and a lot of women especially in certain countries are just giving it all up giving it all up and not only are they giving it all up they are having private intimate moments with them not requiring anything at all like that has got to stop in my humble little opinion so yes wake up you need to benefit there are sacrifices both of you will make for each other but at the end of the day, as a woman, you do take on a yeah. lot more than people try to make it seem like you do. Mm -hmm. You do. And so there needs to be a benefit. There, need to, there, there, there needs to be making your life a lot easier. Yeah. And you do not want to walk out of a situation with a man where you were taking 10 steps back. You need to always be going forward. And if he can't help push it forward, you just need to keep, you need to keep pushing. You just need to keep it. All right, love. Big sis. Let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. And thank you all so much for sticking around to this point. What is your take? Listen to Shara Seven Speaker Strength Lazy as a younger woman. Would you advise a younger person or somebody you know, maybe probably your daughter, your niece, your cousin, to listen to Shara Seven the Speaker Strength Lady or other older women that speak facts about dating let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section respectfully for me i feel like we, you and i should agree that when men go into a relationship with a woman they are going in for business and because of the way we, we women are we kind of go in all out we go in with all our hearts and try to you know put in everything with all our heart but then men are going in there for business they go in there like what can i benefit from this lady if i marry her 
if I'm in a relationship with this girl, what is she going to give me? What, what am I going to, you know, get out of her? If they're not going to see anything to get out of you, most of them will not be in a relationship with you. So then, if as a woman you want to go into a relationship with a man, I've got a back of mind. If you listen to Shira Seven very well, I feel like she's a financial advisor when it comes to relationship. She tells you how to handle men and also get money out of it. Yes, these men are going to break your heart. They're going to do a lot of things from you for you or to you that will hurt you so much. But what are you benefiting from this man? Are you collecting a lot of money from him that will you know, make you feel better at the end of the day or not? If you even want to go into a serious relationship with any man, Shara Seven will tell you that money is important. And then she doesn't tell you that don't work, don't have your own money, don't work, don't hustle or anything. No, for you to even meet those kind of men that she's trying to tell you to go out there and to meet, you have to be financially okay for a start. You cannot go out there to meet a man that is very wealthy and you go out to you know, do the, some sprinkle sprinkle lifestyle and you yourself, you're not living a luxury life. And for you to live a luxury life, you have to be earning something. So if you want to listen to Shara Seven and you really want to like listen to Shara Seven for real, I feel like she's trying to promote um, financial advice for relationship to women. Like you can be in a relationship with someone, you can fully be in a relationship with someone but make sure you are benefiting something from him. And one of the one of the things you should be benefiting from him is money. Make sure you're collecting money from him. Make sure he's paying your bills. Make sure you are, you know, getting a lot of money from him. Because at the end of the day, when you find out that he's cheating on you, when you find out that he's doing some nasty thing that you cannot handle on your own, the money is there to calm you down and you are not seeing it. <laughs> you know, it's kind of videos that, you know, People put money on inside their glasses and be like, I can't see, I can't see what this man is saying because money has blinded me. I feel like that's what Shara Seven tries to um, talk to um, younger women about. And I feel like, it, for me, I feel like younger women should listen to it because when it comes to these older men, they, are e they easily just want to get laid. That is what they want to do. When you see a man that just woke up to a woman, all he thinks about is how I want to get laid to this woman. How, how do I sleep with this lady? But then, the way they make us feel like, if you ask for money when a man wants to sleep with you, you are actually a sex worker. And that doesn't make sense. Because if you're seeing a woman and the first thing that comes to your head is to sleep with her, when she asks for money, why are you bothered? Why are you telling her she's a sex worker? Because you already see her like that. So pay for it. Like I feel like Shara Seven always tries to tell you that to put a price on the coochie. Like, don't do it for free. And when you see that you're not getting enough money, leave next. Don't do 50-50. Don't go there because you love, love, love so much. No. Go there because of what you're benefiting from. And I feel like if younger women really listen to Shara Seven very well and, you know, follow her and an advice, I feel like things will be easier because when these men spend so much money on a particular thing, I feel like their mind is there. And when they spend so much money on you, they focus on you because if... They cannot spend money on you. They are telling you 50-50. They are telling you do this, do that. I, can't, I don't have money. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and they tend to do whatever they want to do. Who is benefiting? They are benefiting more from the relationship. So when it comes to relationship for men, I feel like men are in there for business. I feel like men get married to women for business. They look at this woman and be like, how can I benefit from this woman? Because... You know, I just feel like that's what they go with. That's really why they get married to some women and just be like, okay, this is, this woman is going to, I'm going to benefit so much thing from this woman and that's why I'm going to marry her. But we women, we go into this like in a very, you know, lovey, lovey, dovey, like, you know, oh, I love him, I love him. But no, that's not what men are there for. And that is why when a woman gets sick, when, when their wife falls sick and she's really sick and probably she's suffering from cancer or they can't even get laid with her anymore, they tend to go out there to cheat because there's nothing you're benefiting from her anymore. Or probably she cannot cook and clean anymore. She can't stand up on my bed. These men leave their wife because then there's nothing they're benefiting from this woman. And that's why you see women will still stick by a man even though he cannot stand up to use the restroom. A woman will stick by you regardless because they were not in for the relationship because of whatever they are benefiting from you. They were there with their full hearts and their full chest. But anyway, let's talk, about, let's talk about Priscilla the Queen Maker. For me, I feel like Priscilla the Queen Maker is also a very interesting person you should listen to. But then Priscilla is trying to, you know, 
for me, if you listen to Priscilla the Queen Maker, you will not want to go into any relationship. <laughs> you will not want to go into any relationship. I feel like you just want to be by yourself. You just want to love yourself because at the end of the day, Priscilla will break it down why you don't even need a man in your life. Why you just have to be on your own. Why you just have to love yourself for who you are. Why, how men just use you and you just don't want to be around men because they're, they're not adding anything to you. Of course, you have friends that are guys and all that, but I'm talking about being in a relationship with a man. You might not just you might not just want to be in a relationship with a man because, according to Priscilla, for me this, that is how I see. It. But then I feel like she also said some truths that I feel like most single and or single married and also um younger women should listen to Priscilla the Queen Maker because she speaks facts about relationship as well and i feel like if you listen to priscilla the queen maker with your full heart with your full chest <laughs> mm, let me see if we like that anyways which one do you really like and you really binge that content let me know down in the comment section which one will you advise younger women to really listen to and follow their advice like mm -mm -mm -mm. let me know down i feel like both of them preach different things but to me they're trying to make you know that you have to benefit something if you even want to if you really really want to be with a man you must be benefiting something from the man the man must be adding something to your life if he's not adding anything to your life sister next <laughs> let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section and thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share and subscribe and can it on and post notification bells can get notified when i upload another interesting video like this one and of course you all i'll see you all in my next one Bye.